and welcome to another episode of Toonkind at 12 FPS. I am Hexabeast, normally known just as Hex, and I am going to be playing Vava von Vixen tonight, and this is exciting. And I am joined by my good, good friend. Please, please introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Thamp. I'm going to be playing the he who magic man, um, the twink of the star trio. Well, the tall one, at least. <laughs> the tall twink of the star trio. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh boy i'm excited um where are we going to be like starting this because uh there's a couple of places that they could both end up since you know they kind of work in the same area in the same building and uh other things so just would Marcel be likely at work or at his apartment? Or what What would Marcel be doing right now? Well, I think it depends on, like, the day of the week and, like, the time. Yeah, that's Because on weekdays, like, like, you know, like, on days when he he's actually, like, supposed to be at work, nine times out of ten, he will be at work unless he gets called away. They are forced onto vacation. <laughs> and this is likely set before, like, the, prop the Lacrio games. So, like, he is not on vacation at the moment. He is, like, probably working in the kitchen. Okay, all right. And that's, I mean, that's perfectly fair because, like, you know, five days a week, sometimes six, Vava is also at the studio working. So that's perfectly understandable. <laughs> um, and, uh, so, actually, uh, you hear it's about um it's normally about the time that a small tiny little fox bursts into the kitchens to come say hi but she hasn't done that today vivi is there has been no vivi today um and instead vava actually bursts into the kitchen <laughs> and i shouldn't say bursts she she calmly walks in there and uh just calls out, Marcel, are you in here? I, I would assume so, but... <laughs> uh, oh yeah, yeah, hi, Miss Viva. And he peeks out, like, he was, like, crouched on, on his knees looking for something or the other in one of the <laughs> lower cabinets, and he peeks out from over the counter. Uh, what, do you need something? <laughs> she... Image of him near catting his head up. That was cute. <laughs> yes, that is exactly it. That is exactly it. Oh. <laughs> Baba even has this. <laughs> you see that? Like, there's a look on her face, and it very clearly, if you know the look, is the oh my god, it's cute look. <laughs> She's Let me roll inside real quick. <laughs> Nope, he see he does not notice at all. Nope, he does just that that's Vava. Um She <laughs> She just kind of covers her mouth with a hand briefly and then just says, Well I was about to get off work soon, and so I figured I would come in and at least say hello to you since Vivi is well, currently over at le currently at um currently going to her dance lessons. Um, and I figured I might just stop by and say hello. Uh, and he smiled up at her. Well, it's very, it's very lovely to see you, Miss Veva. Um, we haven't had the chance to um, talk to each other or hang out recently. Exactly. It's been, well, it's been pretty busy. And, well, you have been... suspiciously hard to get a hold of sometimes <laughs> and he kind of like he kind of like tucks it like he sleeps a bit but then he looks at her and it's like i well i haven't actually been up to anything this past two months <laughs> the look she gives him is one of disp like i do not believe you <laughs> like I mean, hands on hips you can like... <laughs> You can roll inside if you like. Okay. Oh god, I actually need to pull my character sheet up. Oh shit. 
Let's see. I don't think she has very... Come here, you. Much. Yeah, I figured it's just a straight. Blah, blah, why? <laughs> That's an 11. Um, well, I'm, it's not really a hard PC to meet. He's telling the truth. Like, again, this is happening before the Latrio games. So is it, he is 100% telling the truth when he says he hasn't actually been involved in anything or up to anything for two whole months. <laughs> Which, <laughs> after their initial introduction, seems just unfathomable. <laughs> she just kind of crosses her arms and looks at him for a moment and then just <sighs> all right but she kind of crosses her arm Vava kind of crosses her arms and gives Marcel like the appraising like the disbelieving mom look of like scrutinizing just and finally she just goes Okay, I I trust you when you say I do trust you when you tell when you say you haven't been into any more shenanigans. For now. Because she she knows Marcel. <laughs> yep. And and he he smiles kinda of glibly at her and goes, Well if it if it makes you feel better, Miss Vava, um well Speaking of my friends and, you know, Bob, uh, they've been pushing for me to go on vacation soon, so I might just go on a trip to, I don't know, Dreamworkers, or maybe Ghibli. She, Vava actually brightens up at that, just, oh, that sounds like a wonderful idea. You, Lord knows, I don't think I've ever, well, I would say I don't think I've ever seen you take a day off, but let me rephrase that, and I don't think I've ever have seen you take a vacation. Oh, uh, I actually went on one last year. She kind of gives him a slight look of like, yes, but did you actually vacation or was there shenanigans, Marcel? Just tapping his fingers together. <laughs> uh, did you go to, have you heard of the Chihiro Festival? Ooh, that, let me roll a history real, real quick, because I think she might have. But I mean, she is part Ghiblian, isn't she? She is part Ghiblian. Um, so it would make sense that she would have, but also she hasn't really like. What? Yeah, I'll part say she. Two. I'll say she has. She's. So, oh yes, I've heard of that. I've never actually been, but I've heard of it. Oh, it was very fun. It was how I met um Bob and the rest of like my family actually um. We met, we met, well, we met on our way to Ghibli, and then a few things happened, and then we decided to spend the rest of our vacation together, and we went to Chihiro Festival. Oh, that sounds, well, that actually just sounds, does sound lovely. Uh, and I rolled a deception there if you want to roll an insight. Sure, sure. <laughs> oh. Oh, okay. So it's not bad, but when you had when Marcel had mentioned family, Vava did very clearly have a look of shock, sur pleasant surprise. <laughs> um, and then she very quickly tried to mask it back into like, you know, just casual conversation. But Marcel rolled better. So. <laughs> Yeah, and he notices, and he doesn't know how to take it. So he just stands there for a moment in silence and goes, But, uh, yeah, it was, uh, well, that was a vacation. And maybe you can roll inside again if you like. <laughs> ah, yes. That's a 13. I'm giving the advantage. I'm giving the advantage. This. You're doing very well. <laughs> okay. All right, with a thirteen, with a thirteen, he he seems nervous, but you can't be very sure if it's just general nervousness, or you know something else happened on a vacation that he's conveniently leaving up. Vava's going to cross her arms and give him again that scrutinizing mom stare. Just Marcel, 
Was it a proper vacation or were there shenanigans? <laughs> Holy fuck! So hold on. Okay! He smiles at her and he goes, It was a proper vacation. I had fun. I had fun. I had. I sp the time I spent at the festival was fun. <laughs> Listen, damn it! Technically, right? He, oh god, one point lower than the disadvantage. Damn it! <laughs> you, you, you're sure he's lying, but you're also not quite sure. She so is like... positive he is lying, but she has no evidence to call him out. <laughs> Well, there was one thing. He's, he said that he had fun, like, at the festival. Like, the time he spent at the festival was fun. It did not, like, mention anything, like, that happened after. <laughs> That's fair. That's very fair. <laughs> but, but, <laughs> Papa just gives him, like, one final, like, squint. You don't know how she can squint her eyes when they're just a line. Probably the same way that Marcel blinks with his eyes closed. Um... And she just finally, all right, all right. I do trust, or I do seem to recall you mentioning the festival at some point, And well, maybe I should take Vivi there one t sometime. Oh, uh, if you do take Vivi there, uh, maybe uh, don't go to um, the bathhouse. <laughs> oh. And why is that? Well, terrible customer service. Really bad. I, uh, and he rules conversation here. And he actually takes out, like, a whole, like, a whole, like, you know, like, bathroom curtains? The ones that you hang out around, around the shower? Yeah. yeah. He actually takes out a whole, like, roll of that that looks like it's been stolen from a hotel room. Terrible customer service. I, I may have taken some of their stuff out of spite. That's how bad. <laughs> Mama stares from the curtains to Marcel, opens her mouth as if to say something, and is just at a complete loss for words. <laughs> you. She puts both hands, she like touches her, just kind of pinches the bridge of her nose briefly. Just, you stole their curtains out of spite. Yes, yes, I did. I also stole their soap and shampoo, which I still have. I, uh, I don't quite, I wasn't thinking straight when I did it. And well, wait, do you want them? I, I don't, Marcel, um, yeah. I am so proud of you. Uh, well, uh... <laughs> oh, you didn't know that looks so bad. <laughs> <laughs> he's just like, he's just like looking at Veva like, oh, he, he did not expect Miss Veva to be so okay with this to in fact be proud of him for this but also at the same time maybe he should have he probably should have expected this but she just kind of stares though and she's just though maybe next time if you're going to steal something go for the pillows instead of their shower curtains oh uh i stripped the whole place <laughs> I, uh, uh, well, the cus <laughs> well, the customer service was, it was terrible, Miss Veva. Um, Bob was there and Bob didn't say anything. And you know how Bob is with rules and stuff. That's how bad <laughs> it was. <laughs> Mama is trying her hardest to keep the straight face and just not burst into laughter because just. <laughs> she rolled a 21 so she's doing pretty good just she's still grinning and it's that like toothy fox smile that she always has when there's mischief afoot um and she's just like she looks so pleased
least because he just fucking cleans the place out in a fit of spite and it's so good out of character in his defense they did get cursed and no one in the bathhouse was any help whatsoever oh i'm well aware of this but vava doesn't know this and this is amazing like <laughs> Leva holding her hands to her chest finally Rousseau has followed the path of crime <laughs> Vava clutching her chest. Oh, finally, now he's learning. <laughs> Which is hilarious because she's not really a criminal, but that's fine. And it's even more hilarious because he did commit crimes before he met her. I know! <laughs> she wasn't the criminal, it was her husband, but that's not the point. Anyway. <laughs> she just... Oh my god, okay. She finally takes a moment to collect herself and calm down. Even with that incredible deception, she needs a moment. And she just... I... You might have to... You might need to tell me about this customer service then. Would you... Uh, actually, um... Would you want to go with me? I was planning to go get some coffee. Oh, uh, of course. And he nods, putting, he nods, standing up from behind the curtain instead of mere catting over it. <laughs> Just... I, I, I've already prepared, I've already prepared dinner, um, I've already prepared dinner, and so, yeah, my Hello? Hello? Yeah. Okay. I'm here. I, I accidentally clicked one of the different voice chats. Oh, okay. I was like, no, no! Okay. But you've already, uh, sorry, he's already prepared dinner. Okay. Um. Oh. His work here is already done. Yeah. Basically. Yeah. Vava just kind of. Yes, and as I said, Vivi is over at dance lessons, and I believe Sarah is going to be bringing her home once that's over with tonight. Uh, so I, I have a free afternoon and, uh, Hey, if you want to roll, uh, some insights on that, uh, state it on, cause I can give you some stuff. Ooh, 14. 14. All right. Uh, with that, uh, Vava actually, so like she's, you know, she's been herself for the most part. When she mentions Cyril and, like, bringing Vivi along, uh, you, it's very subtle, Marcel, but you know Vava. She, uh, she kind of brightens a bit more. And I'm gonna make something real quick. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, so he... he... He sees that, and he immediately goes, Oh, it's so nice that Miss Weaver has a friend. <laughs> that was his intelligence role. Marcel! No! You can't be- You can't do that! <laughs> do I have to remind you of, like- Do I have to remind you of how he was when he first started pining for Toby and Prim? He pet- He in Immediately got on to Bob and Ross, though. <laughs> like, <laughs> in fairness, like the only reason he got on to Bob and Ross was because Bob was like, what Bob talked about Ross a lot before he actually <laughs> met Ross and No Man's. Like, this is like the first time they've uh, mentioned Cyril. Give it time. Okay, fine. That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> Marcel, you poor oblivious fool. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Vava has a friend. She's very happy to have met this friend. She doesn't see she isn't prepared for anything else yet, but that's okay. But anyway, um <clears throat> God, I gotta find my train of thought again. Uh I have a free evening. Um so I figured I would see if you were free. We could probably take a walk, catch up a little bit. And, uh, uh, yeah. Oh, go ahead. Sorry. Um, no, he was just say he was just nodding and saying, "Oh, uh, yeah, I I'd love that, Miss Weaver." 
well, come with me then. And she is, uh, she has ulterior motives, but <laughs> getting him to go along with her is the uh, first and foremost plan. Well, hurdle to cross. <laughs> Well, he does go with her. Like, he doesn't yes. think the question that, like, of course she would want to, like, of course they, she would want to reconnect. Like, yeah. you know, he's not complaining. He enjoys spending time with Miss Weaver. Exactly. And she really genuinely does want to reconnect with him. But there's a slight hidden hidden motive here. <laughs> but she just, she actually, like... She comes over and, like, loops her arm around his elbow, which she's way shorter than him, but it doesn't matter. She just, well, come on then, come on. <laughs> and he lets himself be pulled along. Sometimes sometimes your friend slash family's love language is dragging you around and carrying you, yeah. and you just go along with it. You just go along with it. <laughs> Baba, at least <laughs> she, like, she doesn't even, like, think twice about it just yep this is fine i've i've picked you up and carried you before so this is par the course yep <laughs> and as they're walking actually i think sal would actually bring up like to forgo that veva lent him and like the entire ensemble she lent yeah. him for incident report and he's just yeah that uh it helped so much thank you miss veva oh well i'm so glad you can actually keep the outfit Oh yeah. Uh, well, I don't see myself wearing the wearing it outside of filming, like casually. The pull heels are traumatic, I guess. But <laughs> they're well. It it I it it'd be weird going around wearing pull heels. Well, yes, but the coat and the well, but everything else is still. Every, you still look fantastic and everything else, darling. Uh, the, well, the the turtleneck, it shows so much skin, though. I I don't I don't know why. It, well, that's what would have fit the character, and it, well, you pulled it off. You pull it off very well, if I do say so myself. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I just I. I, well, I, I'm still keeping that, but I just don't know when I'll use it again. <laughs> that's fine. That's fine. Lord knows you need more variety in your clothes, in your clo in your, bleh, in your closet. You know, Pr that's exactly what Prim said. Is that in well differently, but that's the gist. <laughs> and she kind of perks up and is just, oh really? I'm not the only one who's commented on your um. She kind of, it's playful. Like, it's very obviously playful, but she gives him, like, a once-over. <laughs> he kind of, like, he, he pouts a little at that and it's just like, well, I, my my outfit is not that bad. Have have you seen Ross's ugly sweaters? I don't believe I have, but therein lies the point of it. Sweaters. Plural. Marcel. Love. Yes. You wear literally the same thing every day. I'm well aware you have multiples, but they are still the same. But it's more practical that way, and besides, they look nice. <laughs> they look nice, Marcel, but varying your design is never a bad thing. I mean, and she kind of, like, pulls away enough to, like, spin around herself because she's wearing like she normally wears you know tops and skirts and this one's pretty flowy uh today so it you know flares out really nice but it's it's uh it's a red and black like red top black black skirt kind of deal <laughs> he, clap, he claps politely as she does this <laughs> Aww. well i mean well yeah but Look, engineer like wears literally like the same thing every day, and no one, no one gets him over it. Uh, Marcel, I'm pretty sure that's not the case. <laughs> at the very least, he, f at the very least, I'm pretty sure I have seen the director change up his coats sometimes. I I changed up my coat. I I mean, I changed it up when I went on that date with Prim and Toby. Yes, but 
that was a special occasion. You don't vary it up just for fun. Well, no. This <laughs> was like his playing with his sleeves again. <laughs> Marcel, variety is the spice of life. You need to change things up a little bit. Uh... <laughs> Let me roll insight. Uh... <laughs> That's an 11. 11. I mean, there's no, like, there's no deeper meaning to this. There's no, like, I don't know, like, angsty reason behind this. It's just, like, but it's simple. Like, he's comfortable in his sweater and his coat. And, like, I'll be honest, he, po he probably does have other outfits, but he, he is that, like, he is that kind of person where, like, he, whenever, like, you know, whenever he does laundry and then, like, the clean laundry, he folds and puts back in his wardrobe. Like, it's always, like, at the top of the pile. So he always ends up, like, just using the top of the pile and completely yeah. forgetting about everything at the bottom. <laughs> I understand. <laughs> Marcel, me, the player, sympathizes completely. Vava has no sympathy for you. <laughs> Vava is the character whose outfit changes almost every freaking episode. So this is what you have to deal with here. <laughs> and he looks like he looks he looks like he looks caught and at the same time like he's he looks like this is something he's heard many many times. <laughs> yes. Looks at Primrose, looks at Lucky Pack. Looks at every single fashionable person he's friends with. If every single one of them keep telling him the same thing, Marcel, maybe you should listen. But that's, that's part of why Mar Vava is dragging him along. Well, not dragging, but she just kind of... <laughs> she just kind of is, like, getting a, sm a more and more smug look because she's, she's, she's picking up, like, come on, Marcel, you... At least a little bit of color variation would not hurt you. Um, but I like blue and gold. <laughs> I understand that, darling, but you can, you can switch it up a little bit. There are different shades of blue and gold you can wear. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Wait, hold on. I'm I'm gonna roll something real quick. Oh boy. <laughs> oh, dirty twenty with a plus two modifier. Okay. Oh wow. Okay. Intelligence, like as she's dragging him along, he actually sees like gears visibly turning above his head, <laughs> and then there's a clicking noise as like the gears like grid or halt, and the light bulb appears. Uh huh. And then he looks at Miss Veva, and he's just. Are you taking me shopping? <laughs> I'm gonna roll this because she's not trying to hide it, but she's actually let me roll this instead because she's not gonna hide it, but she's gonna play it up. So <laughs> she <laughs> very noticeably her grip on his elbow tightens and <laughs> she just kind of Marcel, I am offended. I wanted to spend some time with you. I invited you out for coffee. And you think I have ulterior motives? Well, Miss Weaver, am I wrong? <laughs> I'm hurt. She is not answering the question yet. <laughs> am I wrong? <laughs> And she kind of, well, if we happen to pass through the shopping district and glance through the windows as we go, is that really considered shopping? Well, no. I guess it's not really shopping unless, unless you buy something. Exactly. So let's go. And she just starts dragging him again because... <laughs> And if by chance something catches your eye and you want to give it a shot, there's nothing wrong then with making a purchase. But we are not going anywhere with the intent to shop. I... Yeah. Uh, all right. <laughs> Excellent. 
four years later, four years later, he's 21 now, and still he looks like a petulant teenager, as like Ms. as Viva drags him behind her. <laughs> she just kind of, oh, don't look so pouty, love. You, c I could be scruffing you as we do this, you know. No, no, I, I uh, scruffing is unnecessary. <laughs> Yes, I'm well aware you are you aren't fighting me on this. <laughs> it's fine, Marcel. I'm not going to force you into anything. I want you to just look with me, all right? And she'd like <clears throat> she actually is getting like a little more serious. She is being honest if if he doesn't, you know, if if he legit doesn't, nothing catches his eyes, she's not going to force him to buy anything. <laughs> yeah, and he appreciates it. Like, he's, he's, he's talking big game right now, but he doesn't actually mind spending time with Feva. Yeah. <laughs> that was, like, her true motive is spend time with Marcel. The secondary motive is get him some clothes. But primarily, it's spend time with Marcel. <laughs> she's dragging him. Like, she hears him say, I, I already have that fur coat, though. You do, and you look lovely in it. And I'm sure we could probably, if you are willing to, like I said, experiment a bit, find some turtlenecks more your more your style that would complement it wonderfully. Hey, if Ava, actually, when he mentioned for good, hey, Ava, what about rule? Why don't you rule history? History? Oh boy. Okay. Excuse me. That is a dirty well, 20. You do really vaguely, actually. Even It happened pretty recently, but you weren't directly involved, so you only remember it vaguely. But you do remember that, like, for all that you gave the fur coat to Marcel, the, the one you've actually, like, heard about wearing it and, like, seen wearing it about was Lucky Jack. <laughs> And you do vaguely remember hearing, like, hearing that, like, particular commotion involving spider climbing, fur coats, and someone getting lost in prop snark. <laughs> and then there was some kind of shenanigans about being banned from Panini Queen. Like, I'm not certain about that one, but... <laughs> yep, you probably... Well, she probably, like... She probably heard something about it. Maybe not the details, but enough to know <laughs> that the actor can and a bad broken knee. Yup. And she just... <laughs> she actually, like, quietly remembering that, she just goes, maybe then you'll wear it more than your co-worker. <laughs> uh, yeah, he's nothing to say that. He has nothing to say. Just, he, he lifts a finger. And like he puts it down. Uh, well, well, Jack, Jack definitely enjoys wearing it more than I do, even though it's really too big. She kind of thinks, she kind of just wave like waves a hand nonchalantly, like I'm sure I probably have another one that would actually fit him. But I think part of it is he's stealing it because it's yours. Uh, well, I mean, a hey, roll inside. <laughs> Ooh. Let's see if Dice Parse will be nice to me. 17! Hey, alright! Alright, that makes sense, because you know him very well. And when you said that, he actually looks kind of unsure. And it looks kind of unsure, like, is that really it? And you can actually see the moment where he discards that thought, and it's like, nah. And he's just... Uh, I think it has more to do with the fact that the coat is apparently expensive, Miss Veva. I didn't know you you didn't have to give me something that something that expensive. And she just scoffs, just oh, nuts nonsense, love. It was nothing, honestly. That coat has that coat has been gathering dust in my closet for years now, and well, even if it gets worn well, even if it's just being stolen by a rabbit, that's fine. It's more use than it's seen. Well, if you're sure, I'm and... positive. All right, all right. If you're sure, and he he goes quiet. She kind of, she actually falls into step next to him, and it's just Marcel. 
I am happy to give you anything you need, all right? I, well, I don't need anything. <laughs> you know what I mean, darling. You know what I mean, love. I, uh, yes, Miss Weber. <laughs> <laughs> I mean it. If you need anything from me, I am very, I am more than happy to help you out. Well, and he looks at her then. Only if, only if you, um, only if you, only if you remember that, uh, if, well, if you need anything, Miss Veva, I'll, I'll be glad to help you with it. <laughs> Marcel, you have helped me so much. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. She kind of pauses for a moment. And then decides... No, nah. well, actually, hang on. No, I gotta, I gotta just, roll, just roll this and mm. see. She pauses. Yep, and then she just kind of has this very visible, like, nah, you know, nah, you know what? Nah, we're gonna. So she pauses and just says, Marcel, when you first came, as, you know, a. a tiny little teenager knocking on my door looking for work you helped me more in that year than I could possibly put into words I don't he... think I could ever properly say my thanks for that he's looking at Ms. Eva now and kind of like gone quiet and a little like not exactly melancholy or sad, just a little more serious. And he's just, well, but you, you helped me much, m much more than, much more than I can put to words. I, well, you helped me much more than that, Miss Veva. I, I was a mess when I came to work with you. I, I do recall that, yes. And <laughs> it, well... I mean, look at you now. And she kind of steps back and is like motioning to all of him and like I I don't know what she's, it's just there's that like motherly pride, like very happy and I don't know if Marcel would recognize that. <laughs> no, no, he doesn't recognize it. <clears throat> Local warlock wouldn't know. Local warlock would not know but she just kind of is I mean, look at you now. I like to think at least a little, I helped a little bit with that, even if that is a bit egotistical to say, but, well. Well, if she's gesturing at him, he probably reaches out and clasps her hand between his and, like, very sincerely goes, you helped me a lot, Miss Veva. It's it's not because egotistical at all. Oh, <laughs> She kind of gets quiet at that. She doesn't, she's just, oh. <laughs> um, oh, my heart. Oh, you just went, he just went right for my heart. <laughs> um, oh, I need a moment. <laughs> Are you okay? Yes, it's just so sweet. <laughs> Is it fun? Huh? If it helps, he probably like after saying that he probably like squeezes her hands and her hand and then like lets go, takes off his hat, reaches into his hammer space, and takes out like nothing fancy actually, just two simple loaves of bread and like hands one to to Veva and grinning goes. I mean, look at my bread, no burnt bits, not at all. <laughs> and she does in fact. She takes it and is just like. Again, it's that really fond smile, and she just, oh, yes, that is, you've come such a long way from burning bread in my kitchen at 3 a.m. <laughs> I, well, I I don't burn my bread, I don't burn my bread at 3 a.m. The emphasis at the 3 a.m. still implies that sometimes you does still burn the bread. That's, that's, she catches that, and that's fine, because mistakes happen, you know. Short yeah, kid fair, runs into the kitchen. Oh, go ahead. Yeah, it's no, in fairness, baking bread is very hard. Yes. And sometimes things like Shorts Kid running into the kitchen happens. Yep. Or Lucky Jack or Vivi or Spider Pan gets out again. Yep. 
Yep, yep, yep. Yep. He's yep. not very bad, yeah. but he looks he like he doesn't look like he doesn't look like he's beating himself up over it. But she's just like <laughs> she just kind of smiles and like thinks a moment and then she's gonna reach do 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 okay <laughs> um she pulls out so she actually pulls a dagger from her hammer space which is her tail so she reaches into her tail and pulls out a knife and cuts a slice off the loaf of bread <laughs> and then well, hands- you have a knife i have a knife would you like a knife no, he already has two knives. Excellent. Vava also has two knives. And she cuts a slice of bread with one and offers it to Marcel. <laughs> and he takes the slice of bread and pops it in his mouth. Yep. And if, is Vava going to taste it? She is. She's cutting another slice for herself. It's like those warm, like, do you know those warm, like, plain bread with raisins in them? Ooh, yes. Like crescent moon shaped with raisins in them, and like when you like smell it, smells of herbs. Oh yes, yes. Yep, lightly toasted on the inside. Can you tell that I'm hungry? <laughs> it's fine. You're fine. But she takes the she takes a bite and just like gives a very contented, just like, mmm. You have come such a long way. <laughs> from the kid who barely knew from the child who barely knew well who barely knew what a mixing bowl was if we're being honest <laughs> in in all fairness Ms. Veva you 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 couldn't cook very well either <laughs> she blush she does blush just just I uh, in my defense Marcel I was raising a toddler <laughs> Well, I was 17. Ah, <laughs> uh, you ha- you've got Wait, me not there. 17. He was 18. He was sorry. 18, yeah. He was 18. Well, you are an adult as well. So... <laughs> he takes another bite of his bread. <laughs> actually, actually, Miss Veva, have you eaten at all today? Like, proper food. Yes. <laughs> Roll insight. God. <laughs> Roll with advantage. Oh my god, do not run in the way. I'm using a lock point. I'm do using it. a lock point. Holy you shit. know what? I'm oh. rolling with disadvantage. <laughs> To everyone listening, you got two in that once, and then you got five on the third roll. Obi, this is your fault. You changed your icon into Sham. Look what <laughs> happened. I'm so sorry. <laughs> he's just flooding bullets, and he's just squinting at her. And, she and just... then he's just like, Alright. <laughs> I, I trust you, Miss Weaver. <laughs> uh... She kind of, after a moment, just... No, Marcel, I have not. I can't lie to you. She just takes another slice of bread and eats it. (laughs) He frowns disapprovingly at her. But it's just like, all right, at at least finish the bread. (laughs) God, I could say a thing and... It would completely ruin the mood, but it would also be in character. Not yeah, ruin the it. mood, but like yeah. Yeah. <laughs> she just <laughs> she just she very just cuts another slice <laughs> and very quietly just mumbles. And here I thought I was your mother. Oh, <laughs> I'm just gonna roll. Hmm. What do you think it would be to see if he heard that? Because he she does mumble it. Perception. Yes. I'm gonna roll perception. Please. Yeah, no, he, he doesn't hear it. Ugh, damn it! I want him to hear it, damn it! 
And he's just like staring at her until she's he's just staring her down until she eats the entire thing. And it's just well it's a good thing that I found out and you've eaten at least this bread. You you you'd need all your energy for when Vivi comes home. She just kind of Oh, that's funny enough. Her dancing lessons seem to be the best thing for her at that for that. She's Oh Oh yes. Uh have I mentioned that she's taking ballet? Oh I oh she's taking ballet? Uh that's that's really cool of her. Yes, she well, she made a friend and they've goodness, they're basically two terrors already. They're two terrors together alone they're a terror alone, but together I'm sure you've met Wild, the little the little No, um, I you haven't? Hmm. No, I don't think I have. Uh, I I, have... I don't recognize the name, though. No. I was going to say, I'm sure she's at least mentioned him in passing. The two are ba nigh inseparable at this point. But... Uh, his... Yeah, he probably... Maybe roll history for that, then? Oh, yeah, he can roll history. Alright, so that would be... Plus four, I think, or plus five. Let's see. He's steady. Five. That's 22. a 22. Yes, so yes. Uh, Vivi has talked to Marcel at length about Wild. And that um, he is the coolest. And he's her one of her best friends next to you, Marcel. And just basically like how she would always talk about you. Now she's talking about wild. <laughs> and, well, part of him, like, it feels a little bittersweet because he used to be, like, Vivi's closest friend when he was younger. Mm -hmm. But he's also, like, not really the kind to be jealous. He's just happy she has another friend. Especially so a friend her age. Like Yeah, because, like, as hard as he tried, he was still, like, like 18 to what? what, what how old was Vivi then? Four? Four, yeah. Yeah. Four or three, right? Yeah, and she like, was she was three going on four. So Yeah. Yeah. So like he's not he's not really that bitter about it. Yeah. It's just kinda of like, it's just kinda of, aw. Yeah. And he says, Oh oh yeah, I, I do remember now. Vivi Vivi talks about him a lot. Yes, he turns out his father, uh, is the is one of the professors over at the Crown Jewel Institute and teaches ballet and he offered to, well, he's offered to give Vivi lessons alongside his son. Oh, well, I think you'll do an amazing job, I believe. You're an amazing dancer, Miss Weba. Say that again, I'm sorry I didn't catch it. You're an amazing dancer, Miss Weba. <laughs> well, she blushes a little bit and just, well, uh, that's, that's sweet of you to say, but I am not built for ballet. This is all, this one is all for Vivi. <laughs> And can I roll inside on that? Yes. Ooh, 15. All right. Um, so she's being, like, absolutely just... No, this is, like, Vivi's thing. But... And she's, like, definitely just, like, so proud of her daughter. But, uh, no, there is definitely, like... There's, there's, there's... She's, like... He catches a bit of blush. Uh, that's not from like, oh, I'm being flattered. It it's definitely uh, <laughs> it's definitely uh. Now there's there's definitely more reasons now that she goes there. But <laughs> God damn it, that was another intelligence roll. Um, he sees that blush. He notices that, and he very glibly he says, oh. Um, is he your friend or, or like the dance lessons like your way of hanging out with each other? <laughs> um, Vava actually like she kind of smiles and says, "Well, we do. We kind of we do see each other when we t when we pick our children up, but I would say that yes, we don't really hang out much at the moment. He's." S hmm. Cyril is 
and you don't even need to roll for this. She's like, she's not blushing, but definitely, uh, she is looking a lot more like happy and, uh, bright. I'll say bright. Um, she's just, Cyril is definitely going above and beyond for Vivi. And it's such a refreshing, it's such a refreshing change for someone, to see someone like him, to see someone so honest and supportive and, and she just kind of trails off after that and is just smiling. I'm gonna roll again, come on. <laughs> How obvious do you need it to be? Fifteen! Fifteen! It finally sinks in. <laughs> He looks at Ms. Veva and he, he, it clicks. It clicks. And he's just, oh, he sounds like a very nice person. Yes, he, he certainly is. And she, uh, she doesn't give any, like, any kind of inclination. She's just smiling and, like, she doesn't look love-struck. She just looks very fond and, like, just smiling brightly, and she looks happy. Well, and Cell sees that, and to him, that's, like, what's important. It's not actually going to say much in this case, because, uh, I feel like, considering he was her babysitter for an entire year, <laughs> he might he might be aware of her hang-ups regarding romance. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So he's very much like, oh, oh. And he's not getting involved. <laughs> that's honestly, yeah. That's that's fair. That's very fair, Marcel. <laughs> yeah. Anyone else, you would tease the pack out of her, but not this time. Not no, 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 no. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, Baba's not even really aware of it herself, so it's fine. But yeah, yeah it's fine. But <laughs> she just kind of smiles and just. Yes, and he does a wonderful job taking care of both Vivi, well, t taking care of and teaching Vivi, and the lessons keep her pretty well occupied. She actually comes home tired after lessons. It's refreshing. Yes, yes, actually. <laughs> well, I'm glad. I'm glad that. Well, I'm glad that uh, you don't have to spend so much energy on trying to keep her. Trying to keep her entertained anymore. <laughs> that was... <laughs> well, you helped a lot in that regard, obviously. But it is nice to just actually sit on the couch with her and read. And he he nods, but he also like... It's also like kind of like a... Oh, I wouldn't know how that feels. Because he rarely like gets to meet Vivi when she's already tired out. <laughs> The last time he met Vivi, she tried to glitter bomb him. <laughs> yeah, it's only a good thing that he rolled like a 17 in inside. <laughs> Very wisely put the boss in his hammer's face. <laughs> Not that it would have been like horrible, but you know, just that's that's Vivi is a little bit chaotic, a little bit lot, and just that's you know, <laughs> yeah. And does he really have any stones to throw? No, 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 he <laughs> no, he doesn't. Local warlock he's does not. Yeah, he he's likely one of the reasons she's become this chaotic. Yeah, and 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 Vava, Vava helped that too. Let's be honest. <laughs> this child was doomed to start. <laughs> well, well, Miss Vava, well, Miss Vava, I hope that once you've learned Pelly, you you teach me the ropes as well. <laughs> Marcel, darling, that would be Vivi. That would be for Vivi. You, er, Let me try that again. Hang on. Marcel, you would need to ask Vivi that. She's the one learning. Oh? Are you not, are, didn't you say that you were going to learn it with Cyril? Oh, no. He's teaching Vivi. I just... Well, I... Mm, she kind of thinks a moment. I wouldn't mind learning, but I think I would rather prioritize my daughter first. 
Uh, all right, that's understandable. <laughs> you, congratulations! You have put you have put a bug in her brain, Marcel. Because <laughs> now she's thinking about it. Mm. Does he? Can he? Is it visible? Like, is it obvious that she's thinking about it? You know what? Yes. <laughs> I'm gonna He's say just yes. Looking. He's just looking and like, okay. He knows that he told himself not to get involved, but at the same time, he's just he's got just well, a little bit. Yeah. Well, ballet's ballet's a pretty dance, and I know you said you aren't built for it, but you're one of like, well, you're one of the best dancers I know. No. I'm sure you'll pick it up very quickly, and then well, you can dance with Phoebe. And you can dance with um, your instructor as well. <laughs> and she looks so at mention of dance with Vivi, she just kind of smiles like, yes, that would be nice. And then dance with Cyril and she blushes just, yes, I, I fear I might be a bit too old for point, but I could at least do a little bit of dancing. I, well, I haven't danced ballet since, oh, it's been almost 30 years now, but... I wouldn't mind well, relearning. <laughs> well, it's never too late to relearn. I mean, you're teaching me how to reuse my daggers again after a long time. This is true, and I managed to teach you to dance. Yeah. <laughs> and she kind of preens a little bit, just... She just preens and up a little bit at that. <laughs> really quick. Oh, okay. I'm gonna use the lock point, because come on. Okay! He 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 was going to like kind of like do a little tip toppy tip top dance like to demonstrate nothing too like special, but I guess one of his heels buckle. Well, ten is an average, so I mean he does a he does a you know he does average like he does a pretty average like impromptu like an impromptu kind it's of thing. Like, yeah, it's nothing like I guess so. But then again, the mental image of his heel buckling under him and he stumbles forward is. It's also hilarious. I mean, if you want that to happen, it totally can. <laughs> it probably did, let's be honest. And if that happens, Vava's gonna try to catch him, just... <laughs> like, he, he stumbles a little and regains his footing, and, like, he's red, and he says, Well, that didn't go as I wanted it. <laughs> Vava just kind of smiles and is, Do I need to give you a few more lessons on walking in those heels, love? Ms. Veva, do you even wear heels? She looks offended, lifts her skirt, and oh yes, she is in fact wearing a pair of heels. They are the gaudiest things on the planet and seem to have teeth, but she is wearing some pretty big heels. <laughs> he's staring at those heels and like, he's racking his brain. Those look very familiar. <laughs> are, those the, are those the heels from Clark Star? <laughs> she just kind of, she drops the skirt back down and is just... Why yes, love. Of course they are. <laughs> you you brought the you brought the you bought the ankle biters. <laughs> How could I not? I mean, look at them. Also, now I'm and she motions like she's still so much shorter than him that he probably would not have noticed the height change. But it gives her a good like five six inches of height. <laughs> yeah, you like you didn't notice the extra height. And he's just like, he's just like, but the ankle biters, they're, he bites his tongue. He, he, he doesn't want to say gaudy, but they, <laughs> they're so gaudy. They're they so are gaudy. gaudy, but Vava is making them work, honestly. Yeah, she is, but at the same time, he's so gaudy. <laughs> She's just... <laughs> He's so like, naughty. You know he could have sworn. He could have sworn that before she released her skirts and fell down to cover the shoes again, he could have sworn that one of the ankle biters licked their teeth. <laughs> and she does not like catch any kind of like uh, from herself. So. <laughs> she just crosses her arms and just Marcel. I think a better question would be, when don't I wear heels, love? Well, sometimes you go barefoot, Miss Veva. Uh, Quite often. Well, it's it. Ha well, I mean, Vivi goes barefoot, so I figure, why not? Uh, all right, that's true. Give I, uh, it's something I can share. It's something that I can share with her. It's an experience I can share with her. 
I I I would go barefoot, but well, <laughs> Marcel. Ever since I let you wear those heels, you have worn nothing since nothing but. Well, well, Miss Faber. I mean, I can wear them now. I I didn't used to. Uh, you you do remember what it was like when I first tried? Yes, you were like a newborn deer. I I I wasn't that bad. <laughs> Marcel, love, you almost tripped down the stairs, up the stairs even, and down, and well, standing um, still. Well, not an. Well, n n look at me now. <laughs> yes, tripping over your heels as you try to show off a little bit. He <laughs> frowns. <laughs> um, I don't spy. He's going to try and show off a kid. <laughs> 17, Seven. hey! <laughs> he, he does, like, he actually does a little somersault with his heels on. <laughs> and Vava very, like, she just kind of, she applauds, like, politely, just... <laughs> because she knows it was out of spite. <laughs> I, 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 I'm, I'm... I am not that clumsy anymore. <laughs> I never said you were. I, or, or, I never said you are. I'm saying you were. But... <laughs> and she's still grinning, but... <laughs> He's pawling and crossing his arms and looking away from her. <laughs> and I imagine at this point they probably did half reach, like, the coffee star. Yeah, they probably have. <laughs> they didn't even look in any windows. They were too busy poking fun at each other. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but Baba kind of has a surprise, just, oh. Hmm. And she gives Marcel, like, a side, a side glance, like, well, it seems you've succeeded in distracting me for our entire walk. Hey, roll inside. <laughs> Yeah, you don't notice this, but I'll give it to you, the player. Yeah. Um, it was on purpose. Yeah, I figured. <laughs> I absolutely figured. <laughs> like, of course, like, a major reason was, like, you know, he likes talking to Viva and he likes hearing about it. But also, a smaller reason was definitely, you know, distracting her. <laughs> distract distract the fox so she doesn't make you go shopping it was it's a foolproof yep. plan <laughs> yep and it worked well, it, it is worked. A plan. <laughs> she got, but she smiles and it's just ah well we still got to talk to we still got to talk again which is well that was really what i wanted yes yes i uh and he smiles i miss talking to you as well miss weaver <laughs> Yeah, it's, yes, it's, well, I've been wanting to actually catch up proper with you ever since we've reconnected, and it's just been, she kind of makes a vague motion, it's been chaotic ever since, and it's nice to have just a quiet moment. Mm -hmm. You know, love? Yeah, I do. It's It's been a quiet two months, and, well, I'm sure I'll be climbing up the walls eventually, but it's been nice. <laughs> and she kind of she pauses at that a little bit and just, I do hope that you'll continue. I do hope that you'll at least be careful in the future, though. I will. I will. I, I promise I'll be careful, Miss Viva. And besides, for all that, for all for everything that I've been involved in, I've never actually gotten hurt on one of those adventures. That's me. Vava very noticeably knocks on wood. And he notices and he gives a sheepish grin and it's like, ah, I probably shouldn't jinx it. She just kind of, Marcel, I mean it. I don't, well, I... if I may get a little serious at the moment, if I may get a little serious at the moment, love, I, when we lost contact, I was very worried about you and I don't want that to happen again. And he can roll inside. <laughs> Come on, dice parser, be nice to me. Dice parser, be nice to me. I 
I'll give you advantage because you know him. Because that's a tree. Come on, Dice. Dice Parser, please. <laughs> All right. So you don't know, you don't notice anything. God damn it. And he just not. And he's just. He, yeah, yeah. Well, if it if it's worth anything, I uh. Well, I never forgot about you or Vivi in those three years. And, well, I know I'd neither did we. I mean, honestly, Vivi, well, she didn't sleep very well for a while after you left, and... Well, I must admit that neither did I once we didn't hear from you for a while. But I am glad that, well... Here, well, I'm glad to see that they've been, the years have at least been kind to you. Yeah, I, uh, I have a, I have a pretty great job somewhere that, um, somewhere that's really fun and never boring. And I've gotten to meet a lot of different people. And, you know, I've gotten, I got, I've got a family now, and I've got two wonderful partners, and, no, I, 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 I'm, well, I'm just the luckiest guy in the world. <laughs> oh, Marcel. And, uh, roll a quick insight here, but regardless, oh, uh, regardless, Vava's gonna just, just roll a quick insight. That's a, that's a nat one. All right. <laughs> so, uh, okay. so you don't get the, like, the quiet kind of like you don't pick up on the caution in her voice but she very carefully like she she has her arm back on Marcel's elbow and she kind of gives it like a squeeze and it's a very like these are all kind of nervous things but she just kind of Marcel you've always had a family you just you just never really wanted to you just never noticed. I'm gonna roll something here for them. Five. And he, he, he's actually kind of misunderstanding it. And you see him actually wince. Because <laughs> what he took from Marcel! that was... Um, this, he he misunderstood that completely. Oh, and he God. thought what Viva was saying was, hey, you have like you probably have like a family you left behind like back home All or right. whatever. Nope, we're gonna yeah. continue this line of thought then because she kind of uh after that and he doesn't immediately like recoil but he does wince she kind of she kind of uh has a I listen, I never said much because well, I mean you were a teenager still trying to find your wings, but I've, I have cared about you a lot and well, I was always, I, she's kind of like struggling to figure out the right wording. Uh, she just kind of, I, when Vivi, do you recall when Vivi had once asked if you would be her brother? I... Uh, he's actually thinking about it. And I'm gonna roll this with advantage. No, never mind. He's not a 17. Never mind. <laughs> you don't remember, actually. It was very long time ago when they were shopping together and he was holding Vivi's hand so she wouldn't run off and get lost within the clothes. Lost mm -hmm. in the sauce. The clothes sauce. Yes. <laughs> and, he does really vaguely remember someone call someone men saying that he and Vivi look like siblings. Yeah, they were cute siblings together or something. <laughs> and, and she kind of smiles and just says, Vivi hasn't stopped thinking of that. And if I'm to be honest, well, neither have I. I, uh, uh, 
What? Oh no! We're so... <laughs> she kind of. She kind of she tur she pulls away ever so slightly and is just kind of facing him like. She also looks nervous because this is this is new. Um, she just kind of, Marcel, when I thought that something had happened, I was worried primarily because I didn't, I was worried, and it hurt a lot more because I didn't want to lose any more family, because you are family to me. Oh. Oh, I, uh, uh, I... I, I, uh, uh, I... And she kind of... Um, let me roll an insight real quick. Oh, Veva. Sweetie. Yeah, sweetie, please. Let's try again. That bitch? Yeah. That bitch? Dice Dicer no! fucking hates me, but... I guess you just noticed that he looks nervous. And she kind Not... of... She... Oh, because this is what I was like. Vava knows that he's like not great with emotions, and so she's just kind of, oh, that was too soon. He he kind of breathes in for a second, and then I, but I mean, why? What do you mean? I mean, like, I I was only with you for a year. You were with me for an entire year, Marcel. And not only did you help with Vivi, you helped raise her. You read her stories. You get you helped her when she cried when she was crying, and I could not. And you, <laughs> Marcel, you saved her. I well, yes, but any any. You said babysitter would do that? No, they would not, Marcel. And she's getting pretty earnest about this. Like, what you did was above and beyond. You are an incredible young man and such a good tune. And I am so, so glad that you showed up on my doorstep. I... I'm gonna roll something real quick. Oh boy. I'm gonna roll, I'm gonna roll. Ha ha, hoo hoo, hee hoo. Hee hee hoo oh. hoo. And now I'm using a luck point. Hooray. Oh boy. That's a 17. Right. Okay. He keeps his composure. I, 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 well, I mean, I, you, you help me so, are you, sh are you sure? Marcel, I, I am positive. We, we didn't talk to each other for two, two years, three. That was you know, no fault of our own, though. And, uh, Marcel, roll, um, I'm trying to think of what it would be to roll. What would be the roll? Inside? Maybe insight, or maybe, maybe even a straight intelligence roll, or, huh. I mean, either way, they would have a plus two modifier. Okay, so do that, yeah. That oh, is a nat, nat 20. 20. So, Marcel, you... And she kind of just says, Marcel, love, I'm positive. And with when she says that, you kind of realize something. And that's that Vava calls everyone darling. And does not matter. Friend, stranger... Her freaking boss. Everybody is darling. Even if she hates their guts. But there is only one person that you know of that she calls love. 
and that is her own daughter. And she has been calling you love for some time now. And it, um, it never registered because it's always just been a very casual thing. But she, at least since you've been reconnected, Vava has called you love. Ah, uh, ah, uh, that kind of sinks in for him. And he's just like, ah. And he, he, he's looking at Vava and he's just... I, uh, I, 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 what, what does, so would that, I, would that make me your son? <laughs> and she kind of like, she laughs, she just gives a little laugh, just, <laughs> I mean, I've considered you what my, I've considered you that for some time now, but... So, or not but, I've considered you that for some time now. But if referring to me as mom is a little too awkward, I understand. <laughs> I, well, well, you'll always be Miss Viva to me. <laughs> I don't think I'll ever be able to change that for you. I've tried. But I kind of swallows and looks very nervous and anxious. And like for a moment, he looks very much like the 18 year old who showed up at Vava's doorstep looking incredibly nervous. Mm -hmm. And like in that moment, it doesn't look like he's changed at all. Hide aside. Yeah. I, 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 I w would like that. Yes. And she, she doesn't yank him down. She actually, uh, she actually opens her arms, invite, uh, and kind of waits for him to come, to come down on his own. And he does, and he hugs her. And she hugs him back just as tightly. And just, I'm glad too, Marcel. We should, uh, he, he stays in the hug for a moment, then like kind of reluctantly, he does like detangle and goes, we should, uh, we should probably go and then get some food and drinks. Probably. I do need a proper dinner after all. Yes, you do. <laughs> and she kind of gives him a cheeky grin and is just, so will you let me pay then or are you going to insist on getting your own food? Hmm, how about this, uh, you can pay if you, if I haven't paid already. <laughs> Is that a challenge, love? He grins and it's sharp. <laughs> of course. And Leva, uh, you can, you don't have to roll inside or perception if you don't want to, but like you can just for fun. Yeah, I'll roll for fun. Uh, perception or insight. Yeah. We'll do perception because that's actually got a bonus. That's not where you type that. Dice parser. Wow. I'm still going to give it to you because it's not very high. Okay. But he actually, like, when he grins and, like, wiggles his fingers, like, you, you're you looking at his gloves and, like, yeah, they, they're, they like, the same shade as his coat. Horrors upon horrors. The very same pair of gloves he wears every <laughs> single day. The heathen. But, uh, when you when you're looking closer like that, you notice the shade is slightly off from the one on the coat, and ah, these are gambit gloves. <laughs> and Baba is absolutely grinning. Just oh, I see. All right. <laughs> um, hey, before we end the FPS, do you want to do two contesting rolls to yes, see? Yes, please. What are we? What are we rolling? Sleight of hand. Sleight of hand, I guess. 
I have. He has a plan to get scammed at Yep. <laughs> That's a net twenty. That is a fuck. net twenty. <laughs> oh my god! I guess they both like <laughs> play at the exact same time, and I don't know. I guess the person like in charge assumes the other was that one of them's attempt. <laughs> so they both go away from this thinking that they paid. <laughs> Oh, that's so good. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> oh. Celsius. Celsius, I told you I had papers. And Baba's just grinning like, yes, you, yes, yes. And she's, you can certainly think that, love. <laughs> hey, what does that mean? Zweba, what does that mean? No. Oh, nothing. <laughs> and she's already, like, skipping away. <laughs> Zweba. <laughs> <laughs> and that is where we're gonna fade out. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> that was that was so fun, Hex. Thank you so much for playing that PS. Yes, we finally.